So we've got Worcester Combi here. And what's happening here is the left-hand manifold is leaking. So if you have a look down here, you can see water drip at the back there. Manifold's leaking. Got the new manifold here. Here's the part number. Washers and everything's in here. So what we're going to do is drain down the boiler first. We're not going to isolate flow returns because the boiler is higher than any of the radiators in the room. So no need to do that. Water's already been turned off downstairs. So drain the boiler down. Now I could drain it from here, the drain off, but I prefer to drain it from the filter. It's just easier. So undo that, drain it from there, get all the water out of the system, and then I'll start taking things apart. What I like to do is when I'm draining the boiler down, to shred a core here. If I can, I'll just remove it with that tool. So I've removed it, it's fouled down there somewhere. And just replace it with another one. And sometimes I put a bit of silicone grease on it and pump it so it doesn't come out. So I can lubricate this little spindle thing here. But if I can take it out and remove it, I'll always just take it out and remove it. Now that's done, I've pumped this up to say one bar and I'll recharge this vessel now. And the reason I'm recharging this vessel is when this vessel has one bar of air in it, it will then force the water out of this boiler. Yeah, turn that on. pushing the little remainder, a little bit of water out. So that's done. The vessel's been recharged. And if you want to do a proper job, then a bit of leak detection spray. This is the best one in the game, rock all, yeah? Spray that on here to make sure it's not leaking. So you can see no bubbles, yeah? No bubbles, that's sound. Let's reset this area and move on. Yeah. Traps out the way, one of the first things I'm going to do is just going to buck a bit of silicon, no, I mean WD-40 on these joints here. Just so they slide out nice and easy, let them sit in there. Let's try this small spanner first. Well, we have my long monument one, but it's in the van, so let's just see. Oh. pipes out so twist pull down out feel like I need to put some gloves on So 
same thing here twist sideways pull it down that's the flow out look why when found my twisted monument that's struggling now so i'm just going to pull this out of the way i just think it will make me make my life a little bit easier And voila, it's out. So with this one, you've got to remember that it's hooked here at the top. So I kind of unhooked it first, unhooked it, pulled it out, and then I think I pulled it forward and then yanked this out here. Just pulled that out there. So it's all out. Where was it leaking from is the question. And it was leaking. Somewhere around here it was leaking. Maybe I'll have a look in a bit, but that's sorted. Quick stop for coffee before I carry on. old one so i'm just going to replicate it now put all these clips back where they need to be and then i'm also just going to loop all these places up here If you look at the washers, they're slightly different size here as well. So one is going to be this size, which is going to be the return or the flow actually. Flow. They're old. That's going to be the hot. What I like to do as well is to push these in so they're like ready lubed up where they should be. Yeah, push these in. Push this in. We've got a few washers left here. But these here are going to be for these valves here at the bottom here. And then there's a the connection there as well.
the gas washer is like this here. I've removed all the rivers, but I just thought I'd show you this. This is the gas washer. Now let's get this back in. So let's put the bypass in first. It's probably going to be the hardest bit. Get this bypass in. Where's the clip? I've got my little washer in the top there. You can't see it. Put a light there, you can see. I've got my washer in the top there, ready. So this, I believe, was the trickiest part, yeah? So if you notice, I got the bypass in first, push the clip in to make sure the clip goes all the way back. That's done. And then as I pushed the bypass pipe, I had to lift it up and over because there's a hook at the back there. There's a hook there. So I hooked it in, twisted the pipe at the same time, and then managed to get it on. So now it's all secure, plates on. This is connected, bypass is in. Should be able to just get this one should be able to slot in nice and easy. It's the easiest pipe we'll be going. It's probably better now, maybe to get the gas pipe in actually. The last thing I want to do is mess up these wires, yeah? Snap them. See this clip's got a bit deformed. Turn the gas back on, so it's going to check for any gas leaks. Push it in there. It's likely going to need to be pushed up and twisted, yeah? so I'll push that up. In. Twist it around. So that's all done, it's all connected back together. I'm gonna to go downstairs, turn the water on the mains, test the mains first, and then I'll fill up the boiler. As you can see, no leaks found on the mains. So I'll proceed with putting the water in. With the Worcesters, as soon as you turn it on, pump will run, fan will run, and it will just get rid of all the air. Yeah, so make sure the AAV is open, which it is here. You can hear it venting all the air out of the system. So if you look now, the boiler's fired up as well because the preheat is on. So I'll press this here, eco, preheat goes off, flame will go off at the same time, yeah. But I now know I've got no leaks, I can put the condenser trap back on. So 
So I'm happy with that. Pressure's dropped down a little bit because it's got rid of the air. Pop the pressure up a little bit. Sorted. Now I've put it into maximum. I'm going to go downstairs, get my FGA, do all the basic checks, and then job's a good one. Job done, it's 26 degrees, I'm sweating out here, yeah? So, uh, just so you know, this is probably, I think it's the first time I've done the left-hand side on its own. I may have done the left and the right a good few years ago, but I've done the right-hand side many times, left is the first time. Um, there's probably other ways to do it. There's probably a few mistakes that I made. If there's any, any way faster, let me know. Um, again, if you liked it, subscribe, like, share, comment, all of that, yeah?